Hello, and welcome to Discovering the Truth and Uncovering the Lies. I'm Bill Quantum Quincy, and I'm here with my friend, Reginald Crack, author, webmaster, remote viewer, and a damn fine cook. Hi, Bill. I'm here tonight. Call me Quantum. Hi, Quantum. No touching. I'm here tonight to uh, tell all your listeners all about my uh, brand new theories. My viewers, yes, you are watching the very first webcast of our award-winning podcast. We did win three straight Twaddle Awards for excellence in internet reporting. Okay, well. It was a real honor. I'm glad that you had that honor. I'm here to tell your viewers all about my latest theories. Let me ask you this. Are you ready to have your mind blown? My mind is at a perpetual state of readiness. Okay, well. I have trained myself to even see in the dark. But I can see in the dark. What's special about that? Turn off the lights. Okay. Well, I will fight you in the dark. Turn off the lights. I'm not prepared for this part of it. Do you... Turn off the lights. All right, fine. Where's the light switch? What's wrong? You don't want to fight now? My hands are really cold. Okay, well, I don't see... And my see feet are really cold, too. I don't see what that has to do with it. Um, if you studied Chinese science like I did for 30 years, you would understand that true. My liver is attacking my spleen, which is making my muscles very weak, which causes me to bruise very easily. That's okay, because... I know this because my hands and my feet are very cold. See? Well, that's okay, because uh, in reality, my remote viewing experience has helped me here, <clears throat> because I already remote viewed this event, and uh, I would have actually won the fight, so... Good for you. Well, then, we'll call it a truce. Truce. Okay. Okay. So, Now tell me about remote viewing. Well, I'll tell your viewers a little bit about it. Basically, remote viewing is a, uh, a phenomenon where you can use the mind to see events before they occur in other timelines. You could, you, could, uh, you could see things that are happening right now, but somewhere else where you can't physically be. It's like, I don't want to say astral projection because that's very soft. You know, this is not like, like soft like X-Files bullshit. I really like the X-Files. It's good, but this is way better than in the X-Files because what it is is the CIA actually had a remote viewing uh, division up until 1995. In 1995, they took it off the books, but now it's part of the black military budget used for secret. I actually met a guy who worked third shift at Kinko's that told me all about this. So you know more than just the average guy that looked it up on Wikipedia. Yeah, I did not just look all this up on Wikipedia. Okay, number one. I have inside information. My friend James, it's a, it's a pseudonym. He works third shift at Kinko's, and he was actually a remote viewer. But what happened was he found out too many government secrets using this special technique. And the CIA actually mind-wiped him and then sent him back out into the world. But what they didn't do is they didn't do the mind-wipe correctly. So he retained some of his secret remote viewing knowledge, and he has taught me the techniques. About 1% of the population is... Uh, is naturally able to really do remote viewing up to its fullest extent. Any, do you think I can be a remote Anyone viewer? can be taught the basics. It's like karate. Like, not everybody can be Bruce Lee, but you can be... Sammo Hung. Sammo Hung, exactly. Yes. You won't be Bruce Lee, but you might be Sammo Hung. I like in, Sammo in a remote Hung. viewing sense. Yes. So, basically what it is, what I really have to tell you, though, is remote viewing has a lot to do with... Uh, everything, everything in the world is actually connected to this phenomenon. Remote viewing in and of itself is such a powerful element in the mind, and you can, you can use it to do amazing things. L let me ask you this. Have you heard about the connection between remote viewing, NASCAR, the Peruvian Nazca lines, Stargates, and the devil? The devil? Exactly. It'll all make sense. As soon as I tell you all this, here we go. Are you saying the devil is behind all this? The, well, the Illuminati... Why the, Satan? Uh, this will make sense. As soon as I read you this small passage that I've got here, it'll all make sense. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. 
and Alicia saw him no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and tore them apart. Right there. God said, let there be light. No, quoted in the Bible, right here, in the Bible, quoted, is a passage that proves exactly what I'm going to tell you. Okay. And what do you have to tell me? Remote or viewing, remote viewing is a way for your mind and the mind of masses of amounts of people to trigger stargates. Now, yeah, I know you, everybody saw the movie with, uh, you know, Kurt Russell, Russell Kurt Russell, James and James Spader. Yeah, but that, that was only half right. It was in Egypt. Okay, because, yeah, it's not all about alien power sources. Stargates exist, and the power is right here, right in your brain. Here's how it works. The subliminal messages in the NASCAR cars, the colors and the shapes moving around in a pattern four or five hundred times three or four hours of this it's a hypnotic effect and it puts you in a very suggestible state it makes too much sense yeah doesn't it but watching it on tv only gives you half of what you need when you're really there the key to all this that i haven't mentioned yet is the leaded gasoline nascar they still use leaded gasoline why do they still use leaded gasoline they still use leaded gasoline because the lead in the gasoline makes your remote viewing telekinesis that much more powerful. When you have all these thousands of people sitting around watching the NASCAR cars with the colors flying back and forth and the corporate logos constantly like tide with the fumes. And Clorox. Exactly. Clorox, Tide, Snickers. It's okay, okay Samantha. It's okay. Snickers, okay. Juicy fruit, all that. It's all. It's it's going around and around and around in that circle over and over. And with your with the fumes from the leaded gasoline, your brain starts to be susceptible. I'm sorry, my dog is very upset when she hears Satan. I'm sorry. I don't mean to upset the child. 